There's nothing beneath it Forgive me for staring Forgive me for breathing We might not know why Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Today's video is just an everyday glam for the everyday girl. You want to look beat, but you don't want to do anything so extreme, especially in the eyes of the lips. So like you're just chilling, but you're glam though. I think this is kind of be like an Instagram-y thing too. Like an Instagram baddie type of... We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out in the title. Just, just give it time. Give it time. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to get right into it. Are we here? Are we prepared? Lights? Camera? Alright, so to start off today's look, we're actually going to start with the skin because the eyes are going to be so minimal that we just don't even have to worry about fallout. That's how minimal our eyes are going to be today, you know? My foundation I'm going to use today is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I know. I know. If you're sick of seeing it, I honestly don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? This is my jam. Do you see that? I should probably prime my skin though. This is the Smashbox um what is it? Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You guys know I love this for smoothing out my skin. I want smooth skin. Smooth skin. That's what I want. That's what I care about. Smooth skin. For concealer, I'm going in with my ColourPop Deep 70 or Deep Dark 42 now. 78. They switched up the names and numbers, okay. I'm just trying to keep up here with ColourPop always. You know, they're always popping up on us, doing new things. <laughs> so this is the ColourPop concealer and then I'm going to go in for a little more brightening. And this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow concealer in the shade Café Café. Great make up that. I see what you're wearing. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring. I like to take my finger and use it for my nose because I find that my sponge makes it go out a little too wide, wider than I'd like. So yeah, I just use my finger for that. To set my concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Loose Powder. Loose Fit Me. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Finishing Loose Powder. Loose. That finishes. And this is the shade Medium Deep. I'm going to set my concealer. I'm just going to set my concealer here for safekeeping. And I pat it all the way in until it disappears. Even take it up on my eyelids. To bronze my face, I'm going to use the NYX Stay. It's brand new. Paper fell. And this is in shade Cocoa. Because that's what I am. And we're just going to bronze up the skin. I don't, is this the right shade? Guys, I think I got the wrong shade in this powder. I was supposed to get deep or something. Like deep. I'm just going to set my face with cocoa. Did I really? I'm going to take the rest of the little bit of deep dark I have and try to finesse this in some sort of manner. To contour or cut the face. I love this part too. I'm that girl y'all. I'm that girl that over the ODs on her contour. This is the It's My Ray Ray palette in the shade uh, Brownie Bites. And now I'm gonna go in with some Fix Plus just to settle all of the ruckus here. Going back in with the powder I used to set my face, I'm just gonna take some in the top here and I'm just gonna slightly bake, not too much, right up under the contour. What is this hand always doing? Here. <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with some blush. The blush I'm using is the Black Radiance Warm Berry Blush. My favorite blush. I thought about, um, I was never really a blush person until I discovered like, you know, just the effect that it adds to your face. And it really does do great things for you. You know? But I think I'm going to start looking for um, like orangey tone blushes. Because I know those 
look good on darker skin, like an orangey tone. It really gives you like a nice warm look. All right, now I'm gonna go in and highlight using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits, and this is a shade Sun Dip. This stuff is so intense. Prepare yourself. I always OD. Are we prepared? Are we ready? Or I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the very tops of my cheekbones. And I get a little bit on the apples, you know? And while highlighting does add glow to the face, at the end of the day, highlighting is good because it makes your makeup look more natural. It looks more natural on skin when there's some sort of glow on there than like a fully matte face with no glow, no sheen. It's just more natural looking to us because it's more natural to have some sort of sheen on your face, you know? So it does, it does a good thing. We all D as YouTubers and, you know, girls who love makeup and stuff like that. But it really does do a good thing to your makeup. If you guys see my dogs, I just, I mean, I don't, I, what do you want me to do? You know, what, what? And now for the eyes, you can literally take like any brown shade you have that just complements the eye, any bronzy shade. I can literally even take my bronzer, you know? And this is really all I do. I feel like I should take something darker. I'm going into 3502. And I'm just gonna take this reddish brown that I always use in here. And just throw that in the crease. Just that look of, oh, you did something. But no, you really didn't. Just make sure the edges are blended out. And right now I literally just mixed all three shades, all three shades of the brown, just girl. Y'all are probably like, oh my god, you done? Yeah, girl. So I'm just taking a clean brush and blending out the edges. Now I'm going to take some mascara and I'm going to apply it to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to put on falsies. And the falsies I'm going to put on, they're really my go-tos. They're the 614 pair from Salon Perfect, which are my favorites. You don't have to wear lashes, you really don't, but this is more glam. If this is like a natural routine, I'd probably just rock my lashes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to throw on just one pair of those and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I am back with the lashes on. These are the 614s that I was talking about earlier. And yeah, I went ahead and just took on down my hair put on some different earrings and now we're just going to finish it off with the lips of course and for me every day if I was going to be glam every day I would probably just carry around a gloss like I would just put on some gloss it's not that heavy for me you know what I'm saying so this is my favorite gloss and this is the Black Radiance Urban Nude Gloss my sister put me onto this a while back and now she's just she's here to stay you will see her all right, everyone, so that is the finished look. Thank you so much for joining me today on this everyday natural but glam video. I hope you can see how simple this really is. Like, you can really do this. Mix together some browns on the eyes. Just make sure your foundation routine is on lock. Get the blending together, and you can really have this. Nude gloss, you'll be set. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post so you don't miss anything. And I hope you guys are liking the new quality, the new look. I'm feeling it. I think I'm getting it together slowly but surely here. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Uh, next up, I will be upgrading just my audio. So, you know, getting a good mic so I can plug it on up so you guys can hear me clearly and it'll be really crisp. That is the goal here. I just want to upgrade. For me, I just like good old quality content. That's what I like to watch. So that's what I want to produce. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.